Hello, everyone. This is Dusty, and I'm here for a weekend rundown. I wanted to talk to you today about the Tammy Daybell autopsy coming back. Um, Nate Eaton talk, talks a little bit about it on the East Idaho News, so I'll play a little bit of that, and then I'll comment on it while he is. I'll stop it if I got something to say. Good evening, everybody. I'm Nate Eaton here in the East Idaho News.com newsroom. Finally, after months and months of waiting for the news on if Tammy Daybell's autopsy is concluded. We have some news to report. It is done, according to the Fremont County Sheriff's Office. Sheriff Len Humphrey sent out a news release Thursday afternoon saying that his office received it yesterday from the Utah Medical Examiner's Office, but Humphreys did not indicate what the autopsy shows. Uh, we don't know if the cause of death has been changed from natural causes to something else, what we do know is the case, which has been with the Idaho Attorney General's office since last April, is now going back to Fremont County. Last year, the prosecutor at the time, Marsha Murdoch, asked the AG's office to take it over. They agreed. Well, in November, a new prosecutor, Lindsay Blake, was elected, and she's asked the AG for the case back. And the AG agreed. In fact, I just got my hands on this letter from the Attorney General's office dated February 1st to Lindsay Blake. Part of it says, as the newly elected Fremont County Prosecutor, you have requested the Attorney General's office return the Tammy Daybell case to your office. This office only had jurisdiction to investigate and prosecute the case due to your predecessor's request for assistance and the mutual agreement signed on April 9th, 2020. Since you have now withdrawn that request for assistance, we will return the matter to your office. Effective immediately, the Idaho Attorney General's office relinquishes, relinquishes full responsibility and authority for the case to Fremont County Prosecutor's Office, and all decisions regarding the case shall be the responsibility of your office. All right, hold on. That's pretty crazy. So pretty much what the Attorney General's office is saying is that we are... That's yours now, guys. We don't want to deal with this anymore. You asked for it. You got it. That's pretty much what the the uh, Attorney General is telling this Lindsay Blake Balake. Blake... Any of you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's pretty crazy. So they said effective immediately relinquishes full responsibility and authority for the case to the Fremont County Prosecutor's Office. All right, let's get back to this. As a result, this office will no longer take any action to investigate. They're not taking any action. They're done. That's what I was telling you. They're, they're wiping their hands. Well prosecutorial assistance in this case. What does this mean as far as the case is concerned? If anybody is charged in connection to Tammy Daybell's death, it will come from the Fremont County Prosecutor's Office, not- Okay, listen, this is crazy because this tells you a lot if you just listen to what he's saying. So he's saying if any charges come, they're coming from the Fremont County Prosecutor's Office, which means why would they ask for the case back if they weren't planning on charging one of these two with it or both of them with something? That's what it's telling me. What do you all think? Let me know in the comments. I want to know what you think about this. But I think my opinion is there's something there. First of all, if there wasn't, they would have just said. Second of all, why would the Fremont County uh, new attorney, uh, Lindsey Blake, ask for it back? If there wasn't anything there and why would the attorney general be so excited to give it back all right back to nate i like nate by the way nate's done a great job in this case if y'all don't know who nate is find out he's good from the attorney general's office I imagine that the prosecutor is looking through the new autopsy results with the investigators in fremont county they are seeing what is in there and then they could decide to proceed with charges against 
one would assume Chad and Lori Daybell. We assume that because the Attorney General's office, when they took over the case last April, they said that they were investigating conspiracy to commit murder and murder against Chad and Lori Daybell. Of course, the Daybells sit in jail on charges of concealment, conspiracy to conceal evidence related to the discovery of JJ and Tylee, Lori's children. They were found buried in Chad Daybell's yard last June. And that is the latest on the investigation. Uh, we, of course, will stay on top of this. It could be an interesting few weeks here if the prosecutor decides to move forward and file charges in the death of Tammy Daybell. We do know that Tammy's family has declined to comment at this point, uh, and they may speak further publicly as time moves forward. I'm Nate Eaton for EastIdahoNews.com. Thanks, Nate. You the bomb, brother. Okay. Another thing I was thinking about is one of the reasons they might not be releasing the information on this is because they want to put some pressure on Chad and Lori. They want to, um, they want one of them to squeal, squeal like a pig. He'll find him and make him squeal. I know the squealers when I see them. And... That's right. I know the squealers when I see them too. And Chad is definitely a squealer. <laughs> anyway, so that's my rundown for that. Um, I just wanted to pop on here and record something about that because um, it's pretty important to this case. It's very important to this case. If there are charges for, if there is a, a change in the cause of death for Tammy Daybell, that's huge in this case. That means they found something. What was it? We don't know. Could that lead back to what they found? Like uh, the cause of death being changed in Alex Cox's case, we'll we don't know yet, so we'll find out. But appreciate y'all hanging out with me for just a few minutes uh, watching this video. Please like and subscribe. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, click that little bell so you can get notifications. And I will be back to see you soon. <laughs>